Whoa. <laughs> Hello, good evening, welcome. Good evening. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Awesome. Okay, you may start the class. You have five minutes. Elvin, how have you been up to? Elvin is a little bit sick. I can't speak too much. Okay. <laughs> yes. So choose someone. Someone else. He's actually. Okay. Who are you giving up to? Sorry. How are you giving up to? I'm doing good. Awesome. What do you do today? Oh, I, I, I replied some emails. I typed some report. I called some clients. Um, what else? I meeting with my boss. What about you? I had a meeting with my boss. I had a meeting. I had a meeting with my boss, yes. Okay, I have a meeting. Great. A typical day, right? Yeah. My dad would. Yeah, in my case as well, I have a I had a, a typical day. Uh except for the fact that I the, I had to to answer different answer different calls because the server down down yeah and yeah for the reason i i have to work um easily uh, i think and how are you Miguel? hey good evening alex i'm fine thank you and you yeah i'm very well Oh, well, too. I had a day beautiful today. <laughs> I yeah. feel good. Yes, I feel good. I tell us. Yes, I'm. I'm getting. I'm getting used the new processes in my company because the the last month, the last week, my boss changed the processes, and I'm getting. I'm getting the used to new processes, but I feel good. And do you think that this change is good? Uh, it's good because the process is, is more effective. Yeah. Uh, oh. before, before the process it was very difficult. I don't know. But with the new is is good. It's better than the old. It's, it's better for the employees because in my department, uh, we we pay, we pay the, the the insurance medical, and it's necessary for the employees receive the, the money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I feel that this process is good. It's more efficient. Efficient, yeah. And I know what about what about the other co co-workers, other person. Speak someone. That don't speak. 
Hey, Fernando, hello. Are you ready for the Thursday? Hey. Okay. Perhaps. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How is it going? Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Good evening. Good evening to all of you. Good evening, Good evening everybody. How was your day? My day? I had a day. I had a day, a good day. I say to I said to Alexander. <laughs> and what about you, Carolina? How was your day? How was um, your day? My day was very good. I have a I have a lot of food, pizza, <laughs> cake, sandwiches, and and I, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, nice. That was a nice conversation, right? Easy. Okay. <laughs> You see, you can do it. There is no shame. I mean, you can just talk, 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 talk. That's the whole point. On every class, don't get concerned about the um, the topic, you know, and uh, the same thing. No, just talk. Have a conversation with your classmates. Okay, so let's do the attendance, and then we, we start the class with the topics. Um, Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, August 31st. Let's see. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. <coughs> is that Alan? I'm sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Was here. Oh, thank you, Elvin. Thank you. Fatima Ifegenia Lopez Ramos. Present. Hey, good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Okay. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Where's Juan Marcos? I'm concerned now. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Okay. I'll move on. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Thank you. Rene Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Not here yet? Okay. Good, guys. So before we start, let me remind you there are some exercises that you need to perform on the platform so I can update your grades tonight because tomorrow, oh no, wait, today is our ninth day. Today, tomorrow is the last day for you to um, complete the exercises of unit two. You know, just try to do it, you know, as much as you can. So let's start the class. Today, we're going to continue a little bit talking about testing products, okay? Why do you think it's important to test the product? How to test the product and what's the best plan to test the product, okay? Okay, um, so if you were 
to test a product, what product would you, would you like to test? A new kind of food in my, in a my new case. Game. A new kind of food. A new okay. car model. A new car model. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. A Tesla, right? Wow. Okay. Uh huh. Electric cars. Did you know that there's a gas station? I mean, an electric station now <laughs> in San Salvador, in El Salvador? Really? I yeah. think, yes, Where? yes, I hear I about heard, that. I heard about it. Someone told me, but I don't remember where is it, where it oh. is. Okay. What other products would you like to test? Something that you will totally oh. go for it. I would, uh, I would I, like to, uh, sorry, <laughs> I would like to test, um, Chocolate bars, or oh my God. or a, or I would I would like to receive a, a payment to to test the um, um, beds and <laughs> and a slip there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bed tester. What do you think? Yeah, that's a nice job. Okay, but you. What if you will have to sleep inside? Um, one of these stores, you know, inside the store overnight, you know, stay sleeping inside the store to test the bed. Would but you do I it? think that, that, that would, would be a good idea to get a payment only to, to sleep. Yeah, to so, get paid, to get paid. <laughs> to get paid to, to be sleeping, so <laughs> yeah, I would do it. Totally. Maybe I'm going. I'm going to have the the lights on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because sleep with lights on. I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid about about ghosts or something about like that. Ghosts. Ghosts inside the store. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Chocolates, beds, food. What else? Cars. What would you like to test? Something that will drive you crazy. I mean, if they call you and they say, hey, you know what? We want you to test this product uh, for a month, for a month. Medicaid for the this party, the coronavirus is <laughs> very important. What do you mean? I'm sorry. To test the, the vaccine or? <laughs> no, new, new product. Uh, medical for the desaparecer. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, guys, be creative. I want to hear you. Would you? Hello? I think I lost you for a minute or a second. Okay, we're back. Hmm. My internet connection is unstable. Really? Nah. That is impossible. Uh huh. Come on, guys, be creative. What would you like to test? Consoles. What? Technology. Consoles. Oh, video game, video, video game consoles. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And actually, that exists. You can get paid for, for playing games every 15 minutes. You can play games for 15 minutes. Go to TikTok. I don't know if that's true, but I saw a video where they said they pay you for testing games. Yeah, I have seen things like that. Yeah, on TikTok. I mean, that that's like the trend right now, right? People testing things. What about completing service? Have you heard that you can get paid for completing service? Online service? Yeah. Google Forms. And there's, I've heard, but I have never tried it. There's an app as well in the United States. It's very common to see people scanning products at stores. Did you hear about it? Did you hear about it? No, taking pictures no. of products at stores, the prices, scanning the barcodes, you know, and they get paid for doing that. Okay. Okay. Um, I but think... actually, uh, Walmart is implement, uh, implementing implementing something like that because uh, they when you receive your your ticket, 
Yeah, your ticket. Yeah, your ticket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your ticket. You have the option to to get a, a call and introduce this call in a web page on the web page and and fill out the survey. And you can get or you can win um one a one hundred dollars. You can be rewarded, really? Reward, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah. You can be rewarded. I guess they give you some sort of gift card, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, gift card. You can be you can earn a reward. Earn listen, earn a reward. That's another yeah. another uh, marketing strategy. We will talk about that on marketing plans. But yeah, that's a very good marketing strategy. Compensating your customers for going the extra mile because as a client, as a customer, you don't want to fill out surveys, right? Or you don't feel comfortable filling out surveys. I mean, who has the time, right? Yeah. We, are, we are lazy. But, <laughs> but in the United States, it's very, very common and I, actually, I work for a call center in which the cards the company gives, for example, there's this company selling tires. If you buy four tires, you get a 25% discount. But that 25% discount is like $50, $100, and they give you a gift card. They give you a gift card. Okay, that's the gift card from my company. Then... They call to activate the cards and everything, and they, you can spend the gift card whatever you want, the way you want it. So it's money in the end, okay? And that's the way they do it. Many companies, I don't know if your employers, if your employers give you gift cards, have you heard of that? That it's it's called an incentive program. It's called an incentive program. Okay. What kind of incentive programs do you have in your job? How do they reward you? How do they reward you in your job? All right, any job do you have ever had? If you are complete your goal, your, yeah, your monthly if, goals. If you reached your monthly goals, how do they compensate you, Alexander? Uh, with money. Money. Yeah. Just money? Yeah, sometimes. No. Um, points. Like money. Points. You have a points, points. program? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a part of the money. You know, my company, my call center actually has points too. They call them flyers. And you know what it is? Listen, everybody, listen. I just discovered that I had 7,000 points um, since I started working back on October. So I, I was curious, right? Is this real? Then I started, they have a website where you can choose a product. So I chosen um, an iron, a hair iron for my wife. And that was 6,500 points. It was a... Uh, a Remington, a Remington iron. It was amazing. And then I Google it and I went to Amazon and it was like $70 for that iron. And I was paying 6,500 points that I did nothing to get. Guess what? I got the iron on the mail. They brought it. But guess what? These products are products that they returned to Amazon. So oh. did you believe that? That's yeah. amazing. They have a whole bunch of products that people return, merchandise that people return. They just didn't like it, you know. And how, how did I know? Because the box, the box was a little bit old, but the iron was like new. It was like new. Second hand. Second hand, but it works very well. Okay. I was amused. I was totally amused how they did that. So that's that's a nice reward program. Also, um, right now they're paying three three hundred dollars. If I refer you, I get paid three hundred dollars, and you get paid eight hundred dollars as a bonus. 
as a bonus. It's not your salary. It's a bonus. It's crazy right now. Yeah, they're paying eight hundred dollars for welcome bonus. Why? Okay. You want to try? <laughs> <laughs> not really, really. <laughs> I just referred someone before, before starting the class, I just referred someone and I hope to get those $300 because that guy had very good English level and that's all it takes guys. Speaking and that's it. Can you handle a computer? Can you speak English? That's it. You're in. And they're desperate to hire people. I was watching the news, Canada. Canada is crazy about hiring people. They are offering $7,000 to programmers, Fernando. In Canada, they're offering $7,000 as a welcome bonus to, get, to give you a job. Because of the pandemic, many companies run out of jobs, you know, but now they're hiring back the people. Thank you. Awesome. Ok, so, ahora quiero hacer un sondeo. ¿Quién no entendió nada de lo que dije? O oh, vamos a ver, vamos por porcentajes. ¿Quién entendió un 100%? Levántame la manita. Please, en serio, don't worry, don't be afraid. Alan, you understood. Alexander, you understood. Jocelyn, I think. Isela, uh -huh. somebody yeah. else, Ada. 100%. Ok, what about 80%? Don't be afraid, no se preocupen. 80%, Miguel, some words, okay, okay. Who understood 60%? Like 60, 60, you will say, no, me perdió. Ahora bien, ¿qué palabra entendiste? ¿Qué palabra agarraste que dice, no, ¿qué, qué, qué es eso? Ajá. Uh -huh. What? Again, René? What? What? Can you, uh -huh. reward, 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 what is reward? What is a reward? Recompensa, that's right, that's right. A reward program, un programa de recompensas a los clientes, les decía, ajá, uh -huh. que se puede dar como un gift. Programa de incentivos. Programa de incentivos, cabal, es muy similar. Nosotros le llamamos. Perdón, René, se le... Y mucho eco. Okay, en el caso de nosotros le llamamos como incentivos. Ajá, es lo mismo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Incentives. Very good. Uh -huh. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra ahí en la conversación? Que rara, no sé. No. Good. I said a welcome bonus. If you get hired, refer to refer someone. Okay. Okay, to do a hookup, to hook up someone. Do you understand that? When you get a hookup, no. when someone tells you, hey, hook me up, hook me yeah. up, I, I need a job. Uh, eso significa conectar a alguien, como engancharlo, o sea, por eso hook, hook, hook up, es referir a alguien, ya, hacerle, recomendarlo, recomendarlo ajá, hacer el conecte, como decimos en salvadoreño, hook up. Y es, es, es separable. Es un verbo frasal separable. Hook me up. Hook me up. Ok, conectame. Very good. Ok, let's start. So, in this lesson, as I was explaining to you, we have to speak about the tests that you can perform. And the opening questions. Let's go with the opening questions. Well, first, we need to establish the most appropriate method or methods to test a new product, okay? What is the best method for your product? Why, help me reading. Let me go with Ada, Ada. Can you read, please? Okay. Uh, why do you think it's necessary to test products before they are re realized? to the market. Have you ever tested a product? Okay, very good. Great job. Why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released? Released. Released. Released to the market. Very good, to the market. Have you ever tested? Tested? Again, Idian is remember? 
tested a product. Have you ever tested a product? So what do you think is it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? I'm gonna give you an idea so you can go on groups and discuss this question, talk, 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 okay? I think it is necessary um, because if you release a product, for example, and I'm sorry, but I'm drinking these things and I'm always very hyper. So it's not a commercial, okay? It's not a commercial, but they're good. They are good. So imagine if they don't test these vitamins, um, if they don't taste these vitamins, what will happen? I mean, people can die, especially if it is a medicine, if it is food, if they don't test the product. Oh my God. They, um, companies can be sued. Okay, someone can sue the company. Um, they can be subject to fines, okay? A company can get a fine, okay? Uh, do you know what is a fine? I, I'm, I can't remember in Spanish what's the meaning of fine. <laughs> Multa, okay? <laughs> they can get a fine if they don't test the product. So testing products is very important before they are released to the market. Um, and yes, I have tested the product. I have tested many products because I have a friend who works in a marketing, in a marketing company, and they they make you part of interviews. I remember when I was working at Multicinema Reforma. Um, they she invited me. She invited me to test some new. A new way to present the food in the in the cinema. So I went and tested some products, you know, how they feel and everything. And they gave me a towel, a very big towel. It was amazing just because I went there and they gave me food as well. They gave me the, the, the lunch and I was just a kid, but it was amazing. <laughs> so it's a nice experience when you go and test a product. I also tested Telepizza, as I told you before, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know I was part of a test. <laughs> so I was, I was a victim, but at the same time, it was an amazing experience. So unconsciously, unconsciously, unconsciously yeah, I, I was part of the test. So let's go ahead and try these two questions. Open your mind, be very creative. Don't stop talking, okay? That's very important. Do you have questions? Okay. Okay. Let's have a conversation in Teams. I can hear you, Yoni. No. The microphone is off. Okay, let's talk about why do you think it's necessary to test product before they are released to the market? Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe if you don't test it, Someone maybe die. Can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Yeah, okay. Nice. Hey. Nice thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything fine. Just patting my okay. left yeah. without video. Okay. Okay. What do you think? It is necessary to test product before they are released to mark to the market. Um, if you don't test it, it will be um, a bad idea to, uh, to be dangerous for the people. 
you don't know how can side effects to have in the people. For example, if you don't test the brake of the car, someone may die or get hurt. And yeah. I don't know if you, I guess it's, it's, a, it's the best way that you can really trust in your product or the or can be a, um, a good choice. And at the same time, you can see uh, how the product works in the market. No, no, even that the worst thing, the bad things that hurt some, someone or, or it's to, um, to test how the product can, um, the behavior of the product, right? Yeah. And have you ever tried, uh, have, have you ever tried to uh, test a product? In my case, I... I have never tried a product. Really? But I, I would like to try any product. For example, I would like, I would like, yes, I would like, <laughs> I would like this. I don't know when the company create a new cars, uh, a sport oh. cars, for example. I would like this yes. a sport cars. It's a, it's a really good. Great idea. Yeah. Imagine that you Lamborghini, for example, is, hey, Miguel, yeah. test it. Comprobado. Uh -huh. Tal vez en un caso, caso comparativo de product only. Quiero ir por, por quality control. Uh -huh. eh. Is the price and or oh, the uh, is is the comparative um, product uh, the cost versus quality? No. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you? Yeah, why do you think? Hmm? We the to compare it price with the, the other product. Uh huh. I think. Very important. Mm -hmm. It's the um, product, don't depend the product, uh -huh. depend the company, no? For the, the loose company, depend the, the price. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's usually in the company the the medicamentos is usually um, testing the product mm. for benefit on the patent. Oh. Mm. You said patients, right? Treat, patients. Treating, treating the patients. Treating the pa patients. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. Um, drink sodas, cake. Mm, yeah. You could say, I have tested soda cakes. Soda, drink, uh, different favor five no favors and cake okay or, or cupcakes makes sense and what about you jose why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market in, in my opinion is it is necessary because through through we we now we now fla fla flowers colors chip chip etc okay and have you ever tested the product I I, I I haven't, I haven't 
You have never tested a product. Yes. Mm. I have never tested a product. Straight to the point. <laughs> I'm just finding something amazing right now. It's going to blow up your mind. Okay. I'll tell you how we're going to use it right now. Okay. okay. I think you talked right for a minute. Let's keep going. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I just send you something to your WhatsApp. Don't open it yet, okay? We will use it in a minute. Don't open it, I said. <laughs> Don't open it just yet. We will use it after practicing the role play, okay? After this next stage. So really quick, somebody can, can somebody infer what is inferred in these uh, questions? I mean, what did you find out? What was something that, wow, blow your mind? Something said, said by a classmate. Why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Why is it important? It's very important for the pets and the people for the effects in the losers. Um, effects on um, the cost and um, versus. Exactly. It's actually, testing a product, guys, is part of the feasibility study. Part of the feasibility study is to test your product to avoid or to prevent failure of the product that you're going to launch. So let's look at the next example on the conversation. I'll read it and then I'll choose some of you to practice and split the class so you can practice, okay? Or you know what? I'll do the opposite this time. I will just read it, split you, and then select two couples, okay? Two sets of couples to come to the front. So listen and pay attention. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test will be the best option because it allows, it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that. I repeat, I'll let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first and then will rate it, rate it. I find it more coherent, and I said coherent, for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers. The prototype, the prototype or target audience, our target audience, marketing, etc. 
etc. Et okay. <laughs> Questions, new words. Wow. Difficult words to pronunciate. Actually, I have a doubt. With what? With the um, contraction. Um, is I heard some native speaker said all and some deals aisle. Wait, where? Contra contraction. I'll let I you. will. Like that. I'll let you. I'll. 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 Look, it's I'll, but in natural speaking, as you're saying, native speakers, you say I'll. 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 I'll let you know. I'll okay. let you decide. Okay, I'll talk to you later. They don't even mention the aisle sometimes like that. Hey, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. En esa despedida solo se escucha el talk to you later, pero se sobreentiende que se están diciendo I will talk to you later. Hablaré contigo luego. Okay, talk to okay. you later. Very good. You're totally right. Okay. Hey, for, don't forget how this guy sounds as an object. It doesn't sound as it. It is here as an object, so it sounds like it. Traten de unir los sonidos. La T entre dos vocales suena a re, 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 re. So it, it, it allows. It allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Okay. De nuevo, la T entre dos vocales suena a R. So, gosh, one second. Oh. Ah, it doesn't allow me to do it. Okay. What a, what a, what about, what about? Oh, in here, lo mismo pasa con la D. Okay, lo mismo pasa con la D. Mira, what do, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, ya no digan, what do we do? So you can avoid sounding weird when you speak. Okay, what do we do? Okay. Any other? Is coherent, right? Oh, yes, coherent. Okay. Co did I say coherence? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I said coherence, right? Es que ese es un punto que siempre evalúo cuando ustedes hablan. Are you coherent when you speak? I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. Okay. Discuss about our, our potential customers, the prototype, prototype. Don't say prototype, prototype, no, prototype, no, prototype. The prototype or target audience, otra, or target audience, target audience, target audience, target audience, target audience. Okay, good, marketing, marketing. Siempre respetemos esa regla. Puede que alguna vez te equivoques, pero es más difícil que te equivoques. O sea, son menos las palabras en las que se, no se respeta esta regla de que la T en la pronunciación suena R entre dos vocales. ¿Me explico? Se ocurre mejor el riesgo de equivocarte una vez cuando pronuncias esa palabra que es un en un millón, ¿ya? A equivocarte todo el tiempo y es que son diciendo marketing, target audience. ¿Sí me explico? Good. This is page 20. I'll split you so you can practice with your classmates if you don't have any other question. Sorry, teacher. Okay, Ada, not a problem. It's okay. Okay, so how many are we? We are 18. Let's recreate these groups. Okay. Por favor, nadie se quede en este salón. Let's go and join your classmates. Si alguien se queda aquí, me está dejando patojo otro grupo, okay? So let's go. On, let's go, let's go. Page 20, página 20. Yep. Okay. I'm sending it to your WhatsApp right now. Oh.
Fatima, where Hello. you have wait. Ya lo tiene. Ya, ok. ¿Tú, okay. Alejandro, o mi Alejandro? Okay. Eh, mi Alejandro. Ok. Ok. We are ready to text our new product. What do we do? First, I think the speed and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product in real it and test the speed. What, what about the other variables? Will the products be brave or no? Uh, you let you decide on that song. Great. Of the method I is working about the money consumers willing the text of products first on the web right in for more co coherent for a new products, the papa sandwich. Your name Tom, we have so much work to do. We have to discuss about your potential customers. The prototype or target audience. Better. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could okay. be better. So then. Oh, we don't know that. Yes. So. Okay, well. Who's going to be Alejandro? William. I think that William's not here. Uh -huh. Okay. William, do you want to be Alejandro or do you want to be the father? Okay. I'll okay, be Alejandro. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? Continue, Isela. Um, first, I think that the site and the handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, and smell it, and test it, test it, taste, taste, I don't know. <laughs> okay, what about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I will let you decide on that soon. Son, son, my son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monody. Consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa sandwich. Coherent. Coherent, sorry. I didn't. Coherent. I think that we, read, Coherent. that we read this before, right? Uh, no. The same conversation, yeah. No. <laughs> okay, no. We talked. Yeah, there's a there's a similar conversation, conversation where yeah where Alejandro tells the father, hey, we should change the okay. menu, we should ah, okay, add okay. a new sandwich. Remember, it's yeah. true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So and he, and he told him, "Are you out of your mind?" Remember? Yeah. Yes. I remember. So okay. it's similar. Yep. Okay, you are learning son. We have so much work to do to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the proto prototype. Prototype. Is that correct? Prototype? Prototype. Prototype. Um prototype or target audience. Marketing, etc. Etc. Okay, just switch. You can switch. Okay, now it will be Alejandro. Okay, we are ready to test our new product. 
warung gitu. Who's missing here? We are on the street, right? William. Right to the okay. other part. Will the product be branded or not? Uh, I let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking uh, about the monadic. Consumer will eat and taste our product first, and they will rate it. I find it more coherent for our, our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You are learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, 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 yeah. our target ad audience, uh, marketing, etc. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and the daily test will be the best option because it allows customer to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other bottles? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that song. Right. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first and then will rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product. The Papa sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, or target audience, marketing, etc. Hey, one. very good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Thank you. Okay, do it one more time. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just missing to visit two more groups. Keep going. Me estaban preguntando. Okay. We are ready. No, we are ready to We're test ready. our. Okay. We are we are ready to test our new products. What do we do? First, I think the sink and handly test will be the best option because it'll it'll cons customer customer to see the produce feel it feel it no feel it smell it and test it what a what a what are what all no ay me estoy trabando mi pronunciación es mi sorry what about the other variable we with the produce be brand brand or not i I will let you decide on that sounds. Great. As for the mental, I was thinking about the monadic consumers will eat and taste our products first and then will rate, rate it. Uh, I find it's more coherent for our the new products. The Papa sandwich. You're learning some. We so much. Were to do with no, we have to discuss about our potential consumer customers, the photo type, our target audience, audience, and making etc. Oh my god, <laughs> and you, Carolina, one more time. Okay, we are ready. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? The papa's. The papa sandwich. Yeah, the papa sandwich. Mm -hmm. And prototype. 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 And I'll, I'll do. I'll do. All. Contraction. Mm -hmm. I'll All. let you. Okay, I'll let you. I'll mm -hmm. let you decide on that. I'll let you decide on that. I'll let you decide on that. Some. I'll let you 
Okay. The different. The method is different, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a lovely> <laughs> okay. okay. One more time. You are Ale Alejandro and Me? other father. First, I think the high and handle test will be the best option because it's always a customer to the same product. Fill it, no, fill it, small, small it, and test it. Así. <laughs> What about the other variable? Is the product different or not? It lets you decide on on that zone. Great. As for the answer, I was thinking about the map. The consumer will eat and taste the product first, and then feel great. Find it more coherent for a new, new product. You're learning some. We have so much work, work to do. We have to discuss about potential customer, the pro, prototype or target audience and marketing exercise. Okay. Is there... Hi, Rina. Welcome. Okay, we're gonna do something right now so we can improve our pronunciation, okay? Uh, Aclaren una duda que siempre he tenido. Ahorita me están viendo solo a mí o están viendo el libro y ven en un recuadro mi cara? Libro y el recuerdo de su cara. Excelente. ¿Perdón? La pantalla. Quienes están en celular, ¿tienen la pantalla dividida así? ¿Ven el recuadro y la lectura a la izquierda? Sí. Ok. Sí. Excelente. Ok. So, listen and try to repeat. Ok. Ahorita no importa que tus compañeros te escuchen, sino que tú te escuches a ti mismo, ¿ok? So, areas of improvement out of this uh, conversation, ¿ok? You say first. Um, ok, vamos a apagar los micrófonos y solo intenta escucharte a ti mismo, ¿ok? Recordá que esta sesión va a quedar grabada, entonces tú puedes regresar al video y repetir, repetir, repetir para que perfecciones estas palabras, ¿ok? Cosas que les he dicho desde el día uno, y deberían de estar haciendo si de verdad quieren mejorar su pronunciación, ¿ok? Se puede llevar todo de la mano. So, let's go. First. So, three sounds. Again. Y la I suena E. First. 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 Next word will be sight, 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 handling, handling, handling. It allows, it allows, it allows taste, taste. So there is a difference. There's a difference between test and taste. 
test taste. Okay, so this is taste. And I repeat, feel it, smell it, smell it, and taste it. Taste it. What about, what about, what about the other variables? Variables, variables. Branded, branded. Tercera regla de pronunciación de los ID endings. ID, branded or not, not. Okay, will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide on, I'll let you decide on that, son. I'll let you decide on that, son. Great, <laughs> great, great. Method, method, method. Monadic, the um, stress is on up. Monadic, coherent, coherent, coherent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you say potential, potential, prototype. Prototype, prototype. Audience, our target audience, our target audience, or our target audience, our target audience. Marketing, 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 etc. etc. Okay, hope you got it. So you should practice like that. No solo conmigo, sino que um, siempre que escuches una nueva palabra de alguien, ahí les di la primer um, enlace que les mandé fue el de um, Juglish, juglish.com. So ocupen eso, metan una palabra que la escuchan por primera vez. And then repeat, repeat, repeat. If you see Obama speaking, try to, try to mimic, mimic Obama. Man, si agarran el acento de Obama o de Michelle Obama, chicas, sí que van a sonar super pro. Okay, before we move on, let me do the attendance and then we go with your next mission. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Excellent. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Okay. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Enrina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Hey, nos faltan Juan Marcos Guzmán y Carla Yanet. Ok, so, eh, lo voy a decir en español para que quede claro, por favor, no proyectar la página que les he enviado. Está súper chiva para este tema que estamos viendo. Um, solo les voy a explicar. Si la pueden abrir en su computadora o en su celular, Ojo, eh, su celular, para, y perdón, pero hay varios que puede que no sepan esto, pero su celular tiene un botoncito que te permite saltar entre aplicaciones, ¿sí? ¿Verdad? Solo es el primero de la izquierda, si no me equivoco. Entonces ahí puedes tú saltar entre aplicaciones y lo puedes aplicar ahorita que abrís el link 
oprimes ese botón y puedes estarte moviendo entre la sesión de Zoom y la página. Bien, ¿cuál va a ser nuestra misión? Y lo voy a decir en español para agilizar el tiempo y que ustedes tengan más tiempo de completar la misión que les voy a dar. Es un reto, ¿eh? Porque está excelente el idioma, el inglés. Me gustó, leí varios, varias opciones. Este artículo es sobre 50 productos que fueron to, a total flop, dice. A total flop. ¿Qué es un flop? Worst products, flops of all time. Los mayores fracasos, flop, F-L-O-P-S, flops, ¿ok? Los mayores fracasos de productos de todo el tiempo, los 50 mayores fracasos de productos de todo el tiempo. Y habla, imagínate, Haynes sacó una mostaza combinada con ketchup, salsa negra, <ríe> y era de colores. ¡Ay no, qué feo es esto! Ok, so, <ríe> Te voy a retar a que elijas uno producto nada más. Está difícil tomar una decisión. Fernando va a querer elegir Windows Vista. Man, Windows Vista. ¿Quién se acuerda de Windows Vista? ¿Usaron Windows Vista? ¿Alguien? Yeah. Yo yeah. trabajaba en Dell cuando salió Windows Vista. Oh my God. Mira, estábamos tan acostumbrados a XP que cuando salió Windows Vista, inmediatamente dijimos esta cosa para abajo. Porque se reventó el call center de llamadas. ¿Y qué es esto? ¿Y cómo hago? ¿Y qué las actualizaciones? ¿Y qué me está? Lo, lo instalé hace una semana. Hay que instalar otros 100 paquetes porque los han corrido. Dios mío. Y entonces, ¿cuál es tu reto? ¿Qué le hace el artículo del producto que elijas con tu grupito? Grupos pequeños. Ok. Y tú definas. ¿Qué se pudo haber hecho? ¿Qué tipo de test pudiste haber elegido? ¿O debieron elegir ellos? Para... Me, para haber evitado ese fracaso. Es decir, let's get one of those. Um, oh, the Google Glass. Google Glass. Listen, company, Google, 2013 was the release year. Year introduced to the market. And this is the year they introduced the product to the market. What it was, wearable technology. Y ojo, que hay bastante vocabulario, pero eso me gustó para que ustedes desarrollen un poco el léxico. Wearable technology, tecnología usable, o sea, como parte de tu ropa. Google first announced Google Glass, an eyeglasses shaped head mounted display with smartphone capabilities. Okay. Eran unos anteojos. Eh, moldeados a la forma de tu cabeza que tenían en montada creo que esa es la palabra Fernando en montada una display una, una uh, pantalla con las capacidades de un smartphone lo, 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 um, lo lanzaron en el 2012 the announcement began with a statement of principle we think technology should work for you to be there when you need it and get out of your way when you don't. After two years of disappointing sales, it was clear consumers did not need Google Glass. Google stuck to its principle and, it's, and in 2015 discontinued the product's development. Privacy concerns, reported bugs, low battery life, bans for public spaces and an inability to live up to the hype all steamed public adoption of the technology. En otras palabras, lo banearon. ¿Han escuchado esa palabra? Ban. B-A-N. Tan simple como eso. Ban. Yeah. ¿Qué quiere decir? Oh, no, de miedo, miedo, ajá, prohibido claro. prohibir, ajá, como restringirlo restringieron ya, sabes que en Estados Unidos si tú te comportas mal en una tienda así como las de, la de acá de la espuma ¿qué tiendas? ahí hay una cadena de tiendas que se llama 7-Eleven ahí trabajaba yo en un era acá Man, si te portas mal ahí si robas algo o, o está gritando te pones ebrio they ban you, te restringe el acceso de por vida You cannot be there. Así. Y el gerente es el, el dueño de la tienda. Es el que te puede decir. No, fulano. Not anymore. Sorry. Si vuelves acá, te meten preso. Ok. So. 
vocabulary. ¿Qué pasó? No podías usar los lentes en público. Ok. So, ¿qué hizo Google? Discontinued the development of the product. Ya no siguieron desarrollando los Google Glasses. Tan chivo que estuvo esa idea. But what was the problem? ¿Cuál fue el problema? What do you think they, was the problem? Sorry, they didn't um, make um, sufficient tests to, to verify if they are going to have buses mm -hmm. or, or if they are going to have a... Um, Based on the reading, the main problem was we were not prepared to pay for Google Glass. No estábamos preparados para pagar por esos lentes. We're too expensive. Too expensive, number one. And number two, privacy. La privacidad de los demás personas. Tú puedes andar los glasses y estar grabando. Mm, ¿Ya? Yes. So, it's really legal matters. Legal matters. ¿Ves? Y entonces desarrollas la idea. ¿Qué pudo haberse hecho? Ah, uh, Investigate. Ahí investigate a little bit more. Y ahí es donde el, el, el estudio de factibilidad es el que eh, pudo haberse encargado de determinar que había en términos legales que debían de cumplirse con el producto. Ahí hablábamos de eso, ¿se acuerdan? De policies, politics, politics of the, com the country where you launch the product. That was very important. Ok. So, tu trabajo. Elegí uno nada más, solo uno, ok. Ok. Um, que sea común, sabían que habían li, um, a bálsamo de labios con sabor a chetos. No. <laughs> nice. Yeah, aquí. That was crazy. No. Oh my God. Yes. Kitchen entries. Bien, aquí tienen de dónde elegir. Son 50 productos. O so me van a explicar cuando volvamos a uh, cuál leyeron, ok, cuál era el problema. ¿Qué test se pudo haber utilizado? Ojo, tenemos que apegarnos al, al programa. Entonces, ¿qué test se podría haber aplicado para identificar el error que dio el, el producto? O sea, ¿por qué ya no pegó? Número 17, mi favorito. Ni siquiera voy a ver los demás. El 17 es mi favorito. DeLorean, TMC 12. 1981. Wow. Back to the future. Ok, guys. So, let's practice. Está chiva la actividad de eso. Let's take advantage of this and have a conversation in groups. It's just four groups, okay? Four topics. A ver si se ponen de acuerdo, señores. Okay? You can do it. Let's go. No se puede proyectar el link. Remember, let's go. Why? Hello. You Sorry. Look it. I'm sorry. What do you say? Why you look sad today? Oh no! <gasps> no. Um, I'm a little, a little, a sleepy. <laughs> <I'm sad. laughs> Okay, so, so let me check which case. Oh. Oh. or yogurt shampoo. New cook. Windows Vista. Let me check. What is that? Kitchen entries. Company Colgate. What is that? Then in number eleven, I'm not Then it was crazy. <laughs> Which one? The Call number... number eleven, I think. Let me see the. 
Kitchen, kitchen entries. Company Colgate. Perdón, alguien está escuchando la tele y soy bien fuerte, no sé quién es. So... Me, teacher, sorry, I got oh, to... okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay, it's okay. No, I'm just saying. I'm let me, just saying. Let me mute. Okay. What do you think? The. Okay. Microbow running virtual boy. Virtual boy. But I, um, I don't know. In my case, I don't know about games. <laughs> and Carolina, and where? Okay, where are where are you seeing or what? That information. The teacher sent a link on on, on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Hey, Colgate beef lasagna. I don't know. It's not <laughs> you. It not has relations oh about brand and products. Yes. Product oh. line. No. Oh, it was out of a big there. mistake. Yeah, out of their area of expertise, family were met, inspired by Colgate. Oh my God. <laughs> That's too much. Wow. So our our case, uh, guys, what do you think? Ele uh, number 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Colgate. Colgate. Many, it says many of the worst product flops in recent memory were caused by otherwise popular brands wandering too far or outside of their area or expertise. Expertise? Area of expertise. Expertise. Area of expertise. But what is expertise? Um, el área de experiencia. Oh. Oh, el, no, la, el área o la área de espe, especialización, mm. área de especialización, mm -hmm. o sea, lo que tú eres, en lo que tú eres experto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Colgate Kitchen and Trees may be, may, may be the best example of such, such a product failure. 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 Uh -huh. failure. When, it came, when it came to yeah, keep going, keep going, don't worry. No se preocupen, continúen. Thank you. Okay, number five. No. Okay, the last one. Galaxy Note 7. Yes, Galaxy Note 7. What? What number is that? The last one. The last, the last one. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Galaxy Note. Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Note 7. I'm checking number 18 still. Easy squared. Easy squared ketchup. My God. Okay. Let's see. The love. Okay, keep talking. Sorry. <laughs> hey. We are still reading. You're you're still reading, okay. It should uh, come to or another code. Yeah. Light cyber soda. I would like to test that soda. 
Fernando. Let me. What? Tell me. Did you see number 38? 38. Uh, 38. <laughs> ah, Hotmail's <laughs> and Barbie computers. Oh my God. Oh my. I just can't believe it. I heard about Lisa from Apple in 1983. Today, some company do that. For example, we, we came buy a, a PlayStation with uh, the love of the Spider-Man better. Oh, yeah, but like that's, that's even better. I mean, it's better design. Yes. Alienware. Alienware, you can buy a case from Star Wars. It's the same idea. <laughs> the idea and the concept is the same. Yeah. The time, we, in that time, the people doesn't be prepared for that conversation. <laughs> it's uh, to child is familiar. But actually, if you use like a Mortal Kombat case, Mortal Kombat case, wow. Did you buy it? Eh, nah. <laughs> I will go more for Pearl Jam. Mars needs moms was a failure. Mm. That's a nice movie. Eons Super Train. Galaxy Note 7. Okay. Which has overtaken Apple in the smartphone market last year. Also had one off. More recent product clubs. The Note S7, a phablet, a phablet. Interesting word. Alpha lit tablet. Alphabet tablet. Next. That launched in August 2016 was initially well received. However, it had a serious flaw. A serious flaw. A problem with the battery software resulted in the phones catching fire on several locations, including ones on Southwest Airlines flight, which had to be evacuated soon. Oh my God, the Department of Transportation made it illegal to bring a Note 7 on a commercial flight by October. After an extremely expensive recall, Samsung suspended worldwide production of the Note 7. The company lost what is estimated to be over three billion, billion. due to the debacle. And Apple once again took the lead in the global smartphone market earlier this year. Oh my God, I never heard about it. Había hasta, hubieron hasta memes por todos lados de eso. De verdad. De todos eran de, de gente de medio oriente. Oh my God. Agosto de 2016 yo no existía, no existía, por eso no me acuerdo de eso. Ok, wow. Tan bonito que se miraba el Samsung. Wow. All because of the battery. So, what could you have done? Y si. If the problem is frequently, the, just, they didn't the, the, and now test testing for, for that device. For the, the battery specifically, right? They didn't test the components. Uh, the, in, the, in the article it said uh, was the, the software battery. The software map. The software battery. The software, the software for, for controlling specifically. Uh, where the, the part of cop for the so, C so when software. control the battery. The, firm, the firmware. Firmware. The firmware of the battery was not appropriate or tested. Wow. Okay. I think you're almost ready. Keep going. Keep going. Just missing okay. one more group. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Identify what is the the what is the the better option the best and best uh, option and, and the test test 
this for, for this for this product what product are you looking at uh chicken 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 and entrance and entrance colgate. colgate kitchen entries yeah <laughs> i know colgate kitchen <laughs> google it if you google kitchen entries colgate kitchen entries if you google it you will find lasagna <laughs> lasagna frozen frozen lasagna so you just put it on the microwave Acuérdense que en los 80 estaba era el boom entre el ses, los 60 y los 80 el boom era la comida precalentada porque la gente vivía muy acelerada entonces solo llegabas calentabas en el microondas and that's it ah pues colgate se quiso meter en ese mercado oh my god <laughs> so different Sí, yo, yo creo que lo primero que la gente pensaba era como voy a terminar con, con los dientes bien frescos, con el, los dientes bien frescos después de comer eso. Yeah. That's crazy. Ok. Ok. Vean, vean qué falló. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué falló eso? ¿Y en qué punto del, del desarrollo del producto se pudo haber identificado que iba a ser un fracaso? Ok, that's the point. Aunque lo hagan okay. en español ahorita, de, de, debate en español, pero entendamos por qué y qué podría haberse hecho, ¿ok? Okay. Good, good. good. Okay. A number of parents oh. Oh. to order. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What are you reading? What article? about the computers made for i'm gonna stop sharing okay uh, while i'm here <laughs> while i'm here don't worry don't worry you can stop uh, start sharing later so what article is it number 38 38 38 yeah what's the eight okay other girls and barbie computers okay i oh my god yeah i know okay keep going so what do you think what failed ¿Aún están yeah. leyendo? The, the, the price. The price is expensive. Very expensive. Too expensive. Too expensive. Yeah. And, and also the design was uh, a poor design actually because they have uh, some problems and they they have to rewards to the to the customers because the product was was bad. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, right? Because I was I was reading about it, but yeah. Wow, I just can't believe 47 running was a flop. Flop, thank Oh, but because of the budget, la película costó, 100, costó 225 millones y solo recaudó 250 millones. Yo no considero eso un flop. O sea, sí era buena la película. Anyways. Oh, yeah, exactly. I was, I was um, telling her, them about it. Yeah, it's a great movie. So Hot Wheels and Barbie Computers. Mattel, Patriot Computers. Okay. Keep going, keep going. I'm not here. <laughs> okay. The picture is good, but the product is bad. <laughs> What is the the meaning about the world? The world field field for bank rup rup c r u p t c y bancarrota. Bankrupt. The company had fired its 200 employees and filed for bankruptcy. La compañía había despedido a sus 200 empleados y, um, ¿cómo traduciría esto? Filed for bankruptcy. De, se había declarado en bancarrota. Mm, okay. Pero eso es un proceso legal en But, Estados Unidos. Se les ha declarado en bancarrota. Filed for bankruptcy. Mira, ni siquiera se dice filed on bankruptcy, it's not for bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. For bankruptcy, mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to file for bankruptcy. 
Gran club. Es un proceso sí, legal. Sí. Vas a, a los que aquí sería Hacienda um, y, te, y te declaras en bancarrota. Presentas los estados financieros. And that's it. I'm gone. When you oh, close... Oh, y hasta, persona, hasta como persona natural lo puedes hacer. It's crazy. Imagínate hasta qué punto llegan los derechos en like, Estados Unidos. Like, like Guatemala. ¿Hm? Like Guatemala. Really? Yeah. They uh, feel for bankruptcy. They file for, really, I don't file. know. For <laughs> file for yeah. bankruptcy. Wow. Uh, what is the what is the point exactly in this uh, activity is to find the the main reason for uh, oh, espérate, okay va en este caso <laughs> ajá, no 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 está bien pero entendamos todo y es el punto entender um, ¿qué, fue, qué fue lo que falló en este producto por qué no se vendió por qué fue un fracaso era muy caro porque no todos tenían la posibilidad de pagar It says the computers, however, had many manufacturing flaws yeah, factory, no. mm -hmm. and the resources Patriot devoted to fixing and replacing mm -hmm. broken computers drove it out of business. Demasiado reemplazos. No hicieron un recall, un recall que es um, llamar de regreso a los productos y cambiárselos a los consumers, sino que ellos prometieron corregir los errores de las computadoras. Y entre tanto corregir y corregir, salió más cara la cosa y la compañía quebró. Sí. Ya. Sí, Pero ajá. en este caso, ¿qué yo entiendo como que la que quebró es la compañía encargada de reparar, vea. No, no, Hot Wheels como tal. Como que tenían como una subcontratada. O, o yo estoy entendiendo más. A licensing agreement to sell Barbie and Hot Wheels computers will be manufactured and sold by Patriot Computer Comp Corporation. Ajá, entonces Patriot compró los derechos o le pagaba a Mattel los derechos de, de Hot Wheels y Barbie y ellos habían acordado hacer las computadoras, pero fueron un fiasco las computadoras y no cumplieron las expectativas. Wow. Interesante. Tan bonitas que se, se veían, la verdad, una computadora de Hot Wheels. Una de Barbie, Rina. Eso, eso, eso sucede siempre con tu producto. Uh -huh. Ok. So, okay entonces, ya identificamos cuál era el problema. El, el the manufacturing process. El proceso de manufactura estaba mal hecho. En muchos sentidos. Entonces, ¿qué test se debe haber corrido? Como, ¿Qué se podría haber utilizado ahí dentro de todos los tipos de tests que hemos visto? Okay, use it. Use, use, the, use, use the use test. Why? Because our computers, and I'm not sure you are able to to use it. The computers you are finding box oh. error. Huh? That is necessary. Mm. Uh, the computer before launch in the market, in the market. I don't know, but I feel that the company doesn't test before launch. For this reason, it's a, how is it a fracaso? Failure, <laughs> failure, it failed. Failed. Fail. Yeah, I feel that this reason is failed. I think for that reason, It failed. For that reason, it failed. Failed. Yeah. Okay. I think you're you're ready, right? Are you ready? Um. Yeah. A, a faulty power supply. This means faulty power supply. Un um, power supply, una. Ay, ¿Cómo se traduce esto? Ay, 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 un cargador defectuoso. Faulty es defectuoso, pero. Yeah, this is power this is supply. The... ¿Cómo se traduce power supply? <ríe> Suplidor de carga, tío. <ríe> supply. Voy a empezar a traducir como. 
<risa> fuente, Señor. la fuente de poder, fuente de alimentación. Ah. Ajá, una Pobre fuente. En, 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 en términos técnicos es solo la fuente. La fuente se entiende como una fuente de poder. Eh, a faulty power supply, una fuente de poder defectuosa. Eso fue una de las mayores que también afectó. Ok, los mayores puntos que afectó. Ok, so they use test to prevent these failures. Nowadays, they actually, many companies test their products extremely. Hoy, hoy, de hecho, um, Apple a veces paga por probar a youtubers, les está pagando por probar celulares. Un tipo, no sé si vieron un video en TikTok que un tipo tiró un celular con la cámara encendida desde un décimo piso dentro del edificio, o sea, iba en caracol las gradas y le tiró desde el décimo piso esperando que llegara hasta, hasta el piso y lo logró. O sea, llegó hasta el piso sin tocar las gradas y, y sobrevivió. Un iPhone. That was amazing. O sea, todo roto, pero sobrevivió. Todavía <ríe> funcionaba. Wow. Ahora las compañías prueban los productos hasta el exceso. Uh, cuando yo estaba en el 2009 trabajando en Dell, uh, había un tipo que se volvió famoso por poner um, nitrógeno sobre un, un procesador de una computadora para poder correr un videojuego. El videojuego que tenía la mayor cantidad de gráficos en el mundo en ese momento. Se llamaba Crisis el juego. Entonces se puso a jugar el juego con todas las extras que tenía el juego, sobrecargó la computadora el procesador y las tarjetas de video y le puso el, el nitrógeno líquido encima para que se enfriara y corrió. That was, wow. Crazy. Crazy things. Yeah. Experiments. Okay. I think you're ready, right? So you have your product. You know what to say. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. Let's keep going. Okay. People are stranger, when you're a stranger, faces all alone. Isela, could you, could you lend me 10 minutes of your time? After the class, I got something to tell you tonight. Isela. Yes. Hey, can you stay 10 minutes after the class, please? I'm um, sorry. Yeah, I think that I can, maybe. Okay, how about 30 minutes? One hour. <laughs> okay. Okay, group number one, Claudia, Isela, René, and Roberto. Uh-huh. And me. Uh-huh. Who else? Carol? Mi Carolina. No, yes. really? Yes. Oh, but at the end, my connection is unstable. Oh, and, and then you reconnected. Yeah, you are not in the groups. Okay, good. Ready. So tell us about your article. What was the flaw of the product? And What would you have done? ¿Qué hubieses hecho? ¿Qué producto? ¿Qué test se debió hacer? ¿Ok? okay. Uh, uh, about kitchen entries. Um, company Colgate. <laughs> kitchen Colgate. Um, the, the case, many of the worst product flaws in the recent memory were caused by otherwise popular mm -hmm. brand, brands wandering too far outside of their area of expertise. Colgate Kitchen entries may be the best example, such, example of such a product failure. Um, I think Mm, I think the error, the bit error affects the effects, affects the product line because it's not clearly uh, or relate the brand and the image uh, food with Colgate brand when 
for example, when we hear the word Colgate, we say ah, uh, in, in our mind to paste a uh, move wash and um, or when when we see the logo ah colgate tooth teeth and um, i um i think uh the case that um maybe can apply a brand test branded test because Mm. Uh, the brand test could have could have been used also also although people are already aware about the brand Colgate. What about, I don't know, what about my classmates? New people. Renee is going to explain. Oh, my God, I have been on mute. Okay, yeah, I was encouraging you to, to explain a little bit more. Tell them, Carolina. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Uh-huh. What else is there to say about this product failure? So the flow was the brand. The Sir, I, I, think, I think the flows uh, are different for con, consumer, no, I don't know. Different, uh, different. Different? Consumidor. Consumidores. Uh -huh. uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, they tried. Hay una palabra para eso en español que me gusta. Incursionar. How do you say incursionar in English? How do you say incursionar in English? In course. Google it. Google it. Google it. No, in course. Incursionation. Uh, okay. um, no. <laughs> they tried to, let's say, operate on a new market line, on a new market line. Uh-huh. And what happened? Okay. Or do you imagine or do you imagine this world different? Okay. Yeah. Double. Totally. Pero just yeah. enough. Go ahead. Uh, Jocelyn. What? No? Okay. Uh, they try to incursionate, okay, create a product. You know what happened? They tried to compete on a market, on a growing market. Keep an eye on this. They try to compete on a growing market. It's like right now, Bitcoin is growing, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing a lot, but it's not our area of expertise. We don't know about Bitcoin as humans. I mean, I'm talking about me, Rafael. I don't know about Bitcoin, so should I go for Bitcoin? Uh, no, better not, right? So the same thing happened. It's like, what would you say if you see a spaghetti in Pollo Campero? Mm -mm. No, because the name is Pollo Campero. You, so I mean, the they you. just are chicken. Right. Not a restaurant. But they're right. selling they're selling pizza. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yes, but this is more common because it's a junk food that uh, every restaurant, well, in my opinion, can serve. Can serve pizzas. Okay. Despite listen, despite the fact that they don't have chicken pizza. Mm. 
¿Ya? Beer. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque era muy reseca. La probamos demasiado reseca esa pizza. Ok. So, uh, y solo puedes ocupar el, el, um, la cosa esta, el, um, la pechuga. Ok. Uh, I was about to tell you something. The, so, what test, test to determine, to identify here during the planning of the product? The planning of the product, it wasn't a, a test, you know, it was the planning going out of your brand. Mm, it's not a good idea. Good. Okay. Group number two. Alan, Fernando, Johnny, William, and Jocelyn. Wow. La estrellita, decía el teacher. Uh -huh. No, no, solo firmita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, what was the product you chosen? We chose the Galaxy Note 7, Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Okay. Because that phone, the, the batteries of that phone exploded. So that was the problem. <laughs> uh, we discussed about that and the conclusion was uh, they uh, rush the launch maybe and don't do the 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 now uh, test for different cases only for the the day maybe uh, doing the 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 test for uh, uh, idea listeners but uh, they don't use the, 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 the phone that a uh, different kind of user, for example, uh, that was in 2016. So we, in that year, we we had video games, we had uh, social media content. So uh, for example, with a video game, uh, it's easy to, uh, how do you say it's here? Demand. We, uh, it's easy for demand to, to a fund uh, or the, the resource. So the, the phone is hot when you are gaming. When you uh, are? Uh, uh, play it. Play playing, it. playing. Um, yeah, the phone. Playing. The phones, yeah, the first cell phones, the first smartphones used to get really hot if you use them to play it's through. Yes, for for us was rare see that case when with a game they can see that phone uh, is is being hot, for example, and maybe they they we, they can see that 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 the, the batteries will will explode will explode so that, that is my opinion so what could you have done um well we were talking with Fernando about the product. Actually, for me, it's a, it was a nice product, stylish, and it, maybe it will have future, but uh, the component wasn't test uh, uh, for the, the kind of product that they want to, to launch to the market. Uh, likewise, the test that they have doesn't have uh, the standards for get a safe product. And that's the uh, two reasons that I think that was the most uh, uh, awful for that product. Um, actually, uh, they use the, the use test frequently because they if you see a YouTube week <laughs> other reviews uh, the company sent a prototype of the product and they tested and made other kind of the uh, 
a high level test, like a drop it from a high uh, uh, at the third floor, for example, the, those, those kinds. In the at a time doesn't happen, doesn't do that because they say, "Hey, this is my phone." But like the stylish is not a, a product that I want to drop it off, right? And maybe that there is in the product phase. So the product use, uh, the use test was like yeah. best option. Got it. Okay. Hey. Um, Fernando, tarea, revisaste video cuando estabas hablando y analizaste a ti mismo, ok? Muy buen vocabulario, súper bien, tienes mucho léxico en español y, y tu cerebro ya está, que, que lo quiere utilizar y lo quiere utilizar, pero nuestra muletilla principal siguen siendo las preposiciones, el for y el to. Um, the ideal scenarios, la pronunciación ahí, the ideal scenarios, perfect, los escenarios ideales, the ideal scenarios. They don't do, they didn't do, they didn't, mm, they didn't perform enough tests. Oh, okay, eso es léxico de tu field, de tu campo de trabajo. They didn't perform enough tests. They didn't see that the batteries will explode. Estabas intentando, ojo todos, eh? estaba, Fernando estaba intentando hablar en sentido figurado. ¿Cómo se hace eso? They didn't consider that the batteries were going to explode. Ojo, eh. They were going to explode. Esta es una forma de pasado futuro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo te iba a decir. Mm, yo te iba a ir a ver ayer. Okay. So they didn't consider that the batteries were going to explode. Ellos no consideraron que las baterías iban a explotar. Uh -huh. Past, back to the future. They make other types of tests. Uh, they, uh, también se dice, they run other types of tests. Porque los tests los corres en este tipo de dispositivos, okay? Very good. So the use test, yeah, totally on this batteries, they should have tested the product better, the cell phone. Just one more in three minutes let me see group three i have ada fatima and sandra in group four i have alexander jose antonio miguel and rina who wants to go for it who wants to speak come on really okay group three i repeat ada fatima and sandra group four alexander jose antonio Miguel Angel and Rina, who wants to tell us a little bit about their article? Um, my, my group teacher, um, uh, Selection the Kitchen entre, Entretes. And kitchen Entries. Kitchen Entries. And, uh, and the, the poll on the test is the, is the, is the applicated test, the branded test for the following the, the, the production for the combinator, the march is no use the, the, uh, the names or, or the original name and the logo not suggested the, not attractive to the, to the customer. Wasn't it is suggested or the medication on the it suggested cleaning. a medication a cleaning product yes, yes. it suggested mm -hmm. very good okay totally agree with you yeah as the other group was saying um yeah the logo used to make reference to the toothpaste not to food mm -hmm. okay very good so bueno, chicos, hemos casi terminado. Pedirles de favor que visiten la plataforma para seguir el proceso de, de evaluación entre ahora y mañana. Dedíquenle una horita a eso y traten de avanzar lo, que más, lo más que puedan. Uh, no, uh, no se les exige que se esperen. No, pueden llegar hasta el examen final si ustedes quieren ya. ¿Okay? Empezar a practicar lo que vamos a ver luego para ya en la clase estar preguntando sobre eso, ¿ok? Ok, le gustó la clase, estuvo chivo ese artículo, ¿verdad? Sí. 
interesantísimo, cosas que quizás ni sabías. Ahí entre los anuncios vi uno que decía, ¿qué computador existía en el año que naciste? <risa> ¿Saben que una computadora de Apple valía 10 mil dólares en los 80? ¡Wow! Y era así la cosita, y era personal. <risa> Who can pay $10,000 for a computer? That was crazy. So, sí, muchas cosas pasaron que no nos dimos cuenta, no existíamos. Ese mercado de la comida precalentada era de la comida para, para microondas. Uno, los microondas acababan de ser inventados quizá o algo así, no estaban en auge. Y número dos, eh, como que Estados Unidos se estaba recuperando de una recesión económica. Entonces la gente optaba por comidas más baratas, fáciles de cocinar, porque empezaba mucho la mujer a trabajar también, ¿ya? Entonces todo eso, atar cabos, era un mercado en auge y todo el mundo se quería meter. Les recomiendo y les invito a que vean la historia de Kellogg's, cómo se creó Kellogg's en eh, History, está dando un documental sobre muchos, muchos productos que cómo surgieron, cómo fueron mejorando con los años. Ok, let's go. Uh, today I'm staying with Fernando, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Uh, you may wait. Si quieren esperar, quedan dos minutos aún. Alan Christopher okay. Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Hope you get better. Thank you. Fatima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Cela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Perdón, me quedo con Isela. Con Isela. <laughs> okay. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Thank you, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me again. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Good night okay, and good fight. Hey, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Isela, you didn't tell me before. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. He can't stand me. You say he can't stand me. He's always mad. Um, I think that is, that is support. Yes. Support me or support me. No, he can he can stand me. No me support. He can stand, stand me. Stand. But he what can. what is that? Word in, in Spanish. In Spanish. Um, no, support, no soporta que yo esté en inglés, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. He can stand me taking English classes. He can stand me taking English. No, classes. I mean, uh, I mean that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you're trying to improve yourself. Oh, and he's like, oh, come on, you're going there mm -hmm. again. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like. Um... Apoyo? What is, what is the word? Oh, yes, he doesn't support me. Yeah. He's, he's not supportive. Okay, Johnny, uh, can you stay 10 minutes? Nine minutes? No, teacher. Okay, you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, no, teacher. Not today, teacher. Okay, it's okay, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>